There are high expectations for what people refer to as the future of money, that is Bitcoin. But there's still one question remaining, what happens if Bitcoin can get hacked or even worse, shut down? In this video, you'll learn why it's hard to hack a blockchain and yet still possible. I'm Jessica Walker and welcome back to another Bitpanda Academy. If you're here from previous Bitpanda Academy videos, then help this channel grow by liking and subscribing. Now before going any further with education on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, we need to answer one big question. Can Bitcoin ever get shut down or hacked? Well yes and no. Keep watching to find out more. Did you know, since its inception, Bitcoin itself has never been hacked. Well, thanks to its decentralized distributed nature, blockchain technology is actually well suited to fend off hacker attacks. If there was to be an attack, it would be known as a 51% attack, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Now, although Bitcoin has never been hacked, people and websites have been hacked and they are much easier targets. If you've ever heard of security breaches within the cryptocurrency space, you'll likely have heard of a Bitcoin hack that's from a wallet or an exchange rather than the server itself. Actually, most security issues in the cryptocurrency space can really be attributed to individual users, but also third party websites not taking the correct security measures. Stolen funds are usually the result of storing cryptocurrencies in places that are simply not secure. For example, a hot wallet is a cryptocurrency wallet connected to the internet or online in some way. Hot wallets are either wallets on a desktop or mobile device, as well as wallets host on exchanges without state-of-the-art security measures in place. A hot wallet is something we've covered in previous videos on this channel, so if you'd like to cover that, you can go back on Bitpanda Academy YouTube. Now, if you are new to crypto, then a big event and a painful pastime is the hack of Mt. Gox. The hack of Mt. Gox is the largest hack since the emergence of Bitcoin that led to the bankruptcy of one exchange in 2014. The hack of Mt. Gox is probably the prime example of poor security, but also the biggest theft of cryptocurrencies. Mt. Gox was an exchange founded in Japan and redeployed into a Bitcoin exchange in 2010. Owing to insufficient safety measures, hackers managed to steal more than 850,000 Bitcoin. Since then, other exchanges have learned from this and have implemented watertight security features. But still, Bitpanda does recommend that all of the users of cryptocurrencies practice safe habits and also read our most recent blog on securely storing your cryptocurrencies. So that covers Bitcoin getting stolen, but what about Bitcoin getting hacked? Well, technically, Bitcoin is considered hack proof. This is due to the fact that the Bitcoin blockchain is being constantly reviewed by the entire network. This means that attacks on the blockchain itself are really unlikely. To add a new block containing a collection of transactions, each participant who updates Bitcoin's ledger is continuously solving complex math problems. These complex math problems are created by the cryptographic hash function of Bitcoin. If a specific block is added to the database, every node in the network has to agree on the validity of said block. Only if all of the nodes agree is the Bitcoin ledger then updated accordingly. So to really manipulate a cryptocurrency network is extremely difficult. Erasing or overwriting a block of already spent Bitcoin is known as double spending, and it's rendered impossible by the decentralized, chronological, but also computing and power intensive characteristics of the blockchain network. So what happens when someone tries to hack the Bitcoin blockchain? Well, as you already know, there is not one single copy of the Bitcoin blockchain. Instead, there are thousands of copies stored on nodes in a computer network. These nodes are scattered all over the planet, containing all of the Bitcoin transactions that have taken place so far. If you've watched some previous Bitpanda Academy videos like What is Mining, you would have heard me cover a 51% attack. A 51% attack is quite possibly the most significant threat to blockchains. Such a scenario would look like this. If a single individual or organization were to succeed in taking control of the majority of the networks, mining power, the transaction history of the Bitcoin network could in theory actually change or be overwritten. 
A majority, hence 51%, is always required to decide which transactions to approve and which to decline. Well, this means that a majority of 51% could potentially alter a blockchain's distributed ledger in a way that double spending and execution of the same transaction multiple times would be enabled. This situation, however, is extremely difficult to achieve and also highly unlikely to happen. And now it's time for one of the biggest questions. If Bitcoin is a movement against centralized governments and banks, could it ever be shut down by its centralized competition? Well, just as Bitcoin has never been successfully 51% attacked, it's also never been shut down, even for a short amount of time. Many actors such as government institutions and also banking officials have proposed shutdowns of Bitcoin network before, but Bitcoin has run with virtually 100% uptime for almost 10 years. Now, under really extreme circumstances, there are a few scenarios that could spell the end for Bitcoin as we know it. For instance, a massive global power outage, shutting down all of the communications and internet around the globe could prevent nodes in the network from contacting each other, causing the system to fail. Now, there is another scenario in which Bitcoin updates contain a critical bug, which remains undetected. Such a situation would most likely result in a temporary impairment of the network and consequently a steep drop in Bitcoin price and a fork of the blockchain. So as Bitcoin is decentralized, the network as such cannot be shut down by one government. However, governments have attempted to ban cryptocurrencies before, or at least just to restrict their use in respective jurisdictions. Now, governments could still easily try to jointly ban Bitcoin, yet in the long term, it's much more likely that governments will impose regulations to protect individual investors and also to collect taxes. Then there is the scenario of a 51% attack. 51% of the network participants would have to join the forces to overthrow the Bitcoin network, and with this, they'll also endanger their own profits. Now, since such a scenario would actually also require huge investments into mining equipment, such a heist is also highly, highly improbable, yet not impossible. So all in all, the term very unlikely is to be remembered when looking into if Bitcoin can be hacked or shut down. Bitcoin has been holding its own for almost 10 years and is highly likely to retain its reputation and also its store of value. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you want to see more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe to the Bitpanda channel.